All right, so I was thinking about it, and now there's QNED screens that are orange acid, and that's pretty basic. So I was thinking, you can do all different kinds of orange screens. So, like, you know how there's metal screens that heat, like, iron oxide and other oxides, and then it creates color hues that are projected? Like, we have one in our living room. It's a very advanced screen, and it's very beautiful. But if you took just nickel... And you, you, well, you, you, you nickel oxide and hydride, and then you mix it with the QNED technology, uh, and, or alternatively, you could create orange gel that's like the polymer part of it, and you could mix that with the metal, and you could project through that as well in a pixel plane. Yeah. There's so many different ways to mix orange and um, nickel, which is is orange. Yeah, trust me, guys, it works. Yeah, well, it's the same base material. There's huge amounts of it in orange. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to add to that is that if you were going, there's no reason not to add in an emulsion layer with because yeah. you know people like grain in their images anyways. Yeah. Well, how about for base computing? But some people like changing also, grain throughout the their images. Polymer is the emulsion layer yeah. automatically. So it's it's sort of filmic in a certain way. Yeah, you know that's why film. everybody wanted that that emulsion layer grain, and that's why people are probably going to make bigger orange cam style cameras, but with better yeah. ISOs, so high and low, due to the reactions being better and additional sensors. What what I was trying to get though across though was. It seems like it would be best to get some sort of orange emulsion layer and then something like platinum in it and then just have that be in front of um, a gas screen and then you kind of get orange and gas and then you oh, get a bunch... Oh, you excite the particles in front of all of that with the gas and then, yeah, that... The gas is behind that. all of it, but, you know, the, the, it's the light that's going through the orange emulsion layer. Like, gas screen, but the surface is just orange polymer. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah so then you have all, all the light, you know, yeah, yeah, like a CCD screen and it's being... Yeah, so then it's yeah going through the clear polymer and creating the the light cascade effect. Yeah, so you have all the orange added in and it's all electrified yeah. in so it's reacting uniquely to each other. Yeah. Then you have orange but with QLED, you know, like UV blacks well, and that's colors. that's similar to what I was saying. You just code the movie theater, you know, window where the projector projects through down into the theater room. Yeah. With the, with the orange acid concentrate we've yeah. gotten. And if it's a silver screen movie the silver light will automatically refract into perfect color and hit the screen in beautiful color that'll blow everyone's minds. Yeah, because it's <laughs> like, you could probably do that with oil, too. I'm just saying, everything's yeah. reflective. And so, it's so much better with this orange and then, Yeah, and then it would be semi-3D and you wouldn't need to wear glasses yeah. and everything. And you know what they should do that for the first movie because they're doing it in 8-bit anyways and on yeah. probably silver cameras. Yeah. So it's pallid. Yeah. But chromatic. What? Fantastic Beasts, yes. the one we're next talking the about. The next one, because the the one that came out just recently, we had to like color boost it with our thousand watt power supply through Sony Platinum, which just boosts platinum into the, everything and forces eight bit into nine bit. Let's say sort of with color, you know, hues that are popping. yeah, I could turn it up a little. Yeah, so then that was the technology was utilized to make it acceptable and watchable. But we need from the ground up the next movie to really yeah. hit people hard with color.